Anyways. <clears throat> Welcome back to the sales report. As far as we see, sales are up. Like this hookah smoke. Give me one second. Welcome back all the CEOs, CFOs, and all business-minded people, creators, creatives, engineers, whatever your field of choice. <clears throat> What's the beef between me and the drive through What's the beef? <sighs> Chill. It's a boardroom. Keep it professional. What's the beef between me and... The drive through Meaning, why are you upset that I came to your job, not just to look around, but to buy something? The lane that I'm in guarantees that I'm buying something. Now, if I go into the building of said restaurant, <clears throat> eating establishment, it's not a guarantee I'm going to buy something. I might just sit down and wait for my ride or make your table dirty, be playing with salt packets or whatever. But if I come through the drive through man, you should have a connection. You're working, and I'm here to help the day go by. Because you know the day is boring when you don't have nothing to do. Hold on, let me. The drive through experience, it wasn't, <coughs> it wasn't terrible. It wasn't bad. Say, hey, <clears throat> welcome to food. What would you like to order? I say, I want a number one with no egg and a number two. They repeat it back. I say, that's correct. That's right. I want a number one with no egg and I want a number two, both with orange juice. Simple order, right? So she said back, drive around. I drive around. I pay. But when I put my card out the window, I get a look like, who you supposed to be? And I looked over like, damn, maybe maybe the person's not at the window. So I, uh, I look over and the car get took. So I you know, look back in the car and listen to the radio or whatever. Go to the next window. <clears throat> Thanks for pulling through the drive-thru. I can hear an order being placed. And she's giving so much attitude. It's like a that customer that always wastes your time. But remember, I said we're in a drive through This guaranteed I'm buying something. Now, there's going to be instances where somebody won't change and don't want to get out the car. Like some lazy mess. Cool, but I mean, for 99% of the time, somebody coming through the drive through they are trying to buy some and leave as professionally, quickly, calmly, hungrily, I'm about to get full or get something on my stomach as possible. Lunch break, breakfast, whatever. No egg. Remember that. No egg. So, you know, it's an easy order. You can't get this wrong. We, we, we did this dialogue. Like, you got it. You got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Do you got it? Yeah, I got it. But do you have it? Yes, I got it too. Get my food. Bring it back. Give him a jelly. I fold that croissant back. Hold on. Hold on. This got egg on it. And it may not sound like anything to you and to some people. But man, if that didn't piss me off. We about to have a point. You don't, you don't have a beef with me. This is the beef. Shout out to all the people that work in restaurants, drive throughs whatever, servers, customer service. Hey, man, if you don't like that job, you should start your own business of whatever you actually want to do. You mad at me and us in the drive through this is why it might hurt your feelings. You gave up on yourself a long time ago. No, nah, different circumstances. No, it's people out here that's taking actual risk with their livelihood, their money, so they can come up out of whatever situation. I'm one of them people. We if we handling business, we talking to people, we getting the word out, we we spreading the whatever the uh, entertainment narrative 
or whatever. Hey, I'm taking a risk. You might dislike every video that's posted, but these kind of people, not people that work in the drive-thru, but these kind of people gave up on themselves a long time ago. So now when you in your car is working and you got enough money to eat out and order add cheese, these, who you think you would put cheese on everything, making upsizing everything and ordering desserts and and, and churros and all this stuff. Oh, oh, oh drive, drive around. It's like, damn, I wasn't even done with my order. All right, maybe they got it right there about you. I'm, I'm, I feel good, man. You no, know, was able to do business. I took a risk. The risk weighed out with the reward and everything is good. And now you over here acting like the lone wolf. Oh, yeah, yeah, all radical. Hey, man, I just want it with no egg. I'm telling you to put less stuff on it. I ain't saying, hey, man, add another egg, make it scramble, add a muffin. Add, nope, just take the, out of everything that I'm saying on this one sandwich, just take off one item. It, you may need this egg for the next person. I've worked in fast food and some, it'd be like, damn, I got to fry or cook a whole tray, a whole batch, just to get a couple fries, just to get a couple hash browns or whatever. You got to go through this lengthy process. So, hey, that, that egg that you should have left off the meal, it could have saved you some time. Anyways, these people gave up on themselves. So now they're mad at everybody that, that's trying and didn't give up on their self. And I'm not talking about drive through fast food workers. I'm saying the mentality. It can be people that work a job and post that they at work and then complain that they're at work. The sales for you, ma'am and sir, are down. This is a sale report. This is a sales report. This is the receipt from earlier. Because I thought about it. I said, man, I got to say something. I don't care if only two people listen. If I can reach two people and they go tell two more people, then two more people tell four people. Y'all understand how numbers and math work. You can't, if you got that mentality, you can't handle the drive through You can't handle being a home health care specialist. You cannot handle, you know, being working in pharmaceuticals and. <sighs> yeah, it took me to a dark place. But basically to sum this up. What, however many times you fall, you know, they say you got to get back up. But when you get back up, just tell yourself this. That'll be the last time I fall and act like that afterwards. We all gonna fall. We all have failed. <coughs> that hookah him, baby. We all have failed, failed, or however you want to do it. Failed and failed. But, man, you get tired of touching that cold, hard concrete and pushing off the ground, checking to see how many rips you got this time because you failed pretty hard from grace this time. Dusting the, the crumbs off of you like, man, I... Tell yourself, man, I ain't doing this no more. I'm just not. This is, I'm just not. Regardless, I'm just not. So your mental health, the sales better be up going into a new year. And for all the people that have that drive-through uh, fast food mentality, yo, 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 if you just go rewind it back, I'm a chill. I'm a chill. The Sales Report Podcast. Sales are up. Sales are up. Going into a new year, sales are up. That, that's